I'm off to Fistro Beach to explore something that's long been part of Cornwall's genetic makeup. Surfing. With almost one in five of the Cornish population doing it all year round, this sport is far more than just a summer fling. And it's not just Billabong wearing bell ends with bleach blonde hair who ride the icy winter waves. Welcome to Cornwall, everybody! Step up, Gwyn. Britain's first competitive female surfing champion who's pioneered new paths for women in the industry for decades. Unfortunately, this interview might be her toughest challenge yet. I uh, live for four down. Yeah. Do some exercises. OK. OK, this isn't going to plan. OK. Yeah. Do you do this every morning? Uh, Gwen. Like that. Yeah. Uh, hello, Gwen. Is your hearing OK? I've got earplugs on. All oh, right, OK. Just shout. OK. <laughs> you used to carry it over your head? Yes. That's how I carried it on my head, yeah. Did you have muscly shoulders? <laughs> Did you get muscles from it? Mus oh, God, it's going to blow I away. I should put it down. It was yeah. quite windy today. You ever dated a surfer? My bro bro brother is older than me, so what he did, I did. <laughs> OK, it might be best just to crack on with the lesson. Right, so we paddle it like that. You get up as quickly as possible. Uh, the, you're there. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Oh, there's a shark. Are there sharks in Cornwall? Yeah, you've got to be at the turn, the turn of the board. Oh, OK. Great, I'll remember that when I'm trying to get away from a shark, as long as I turn. Cheers, Gwen. Just get in the sea. Do you know what? I would watch um, surfing competitions on TV if it was just everyone's grannies and grandas. Oh, she's up! Oh, my God! Oh, my God, that's so cool. Oh, yay! Oh, no, no! She fell on her little face. That is one tough woman. Yep, I'm still on my surfing mission, only this time I'm dressed very sexily. And after seeing Gwen face plan, I've decided to ditch the Atlantic for a child's wave pool. I brought in another big gun of the Cornish surf scene to help me. It's world para surfing champion and Team GB Paralympian, Melissa Reed. Being partially sighted doesn't stop Melissa, so maybe there's hope for me. Never told anyone I couldn't see. You didn't tell no, anyone? No, not until I started doing triathlon. So was there any times where you made mistakes where people were like... Oh yeah, people thought I was a bit of a dickhead because I'd walk into them and it was just because I didn't see them. Well, let's hope she can't see how shit I am on a surfboard. He's going to stand right there, just on the corner, aim in the, with the board, two hands on the side, and enter into the middle. So when he's ready... What is he doing? Yeah, he did actually just do that. He's okay. really showing off a lot. I feel like his whole life has been building up to this. For this one moment, yeah. <laughs> I think he's like trying to part with me through his part. I, I think he is. Great, so as well as looking stupid, I'm going to be subjected to Romeo's big dick energy. Thank you so please. It's a little bit harder. You can, you can try it, though. But if you, if you like that and then kick with your legs, kick yourself forward. We don't like this, bro. He's actually touching my feet. Let go of my feet! <laughs> Don't know why I'm smiling. This was a horrendous experience. Perfect. Good. Straight, straight towards me. Are you coming on? How many people piss in here? I fucking hate Darren and Ivo for not coming to this. It's like simulating drowning and it's really scary and horrible. Someone who has almost no eyesight is a better surfer than me. Thankfully, someone eventually turned off the wave machine and Melissa delivered the news I was hoping for. 
Plan. I don't think you'll make Team GV, I'm sorry. Oh. Unless it's for the best wipeout. Um, oh, I don't mind. Despite the humiliation and non-consensual feet touching, I was thankful to have met two women who are actually changing the face of surfing. One wipeout at a time.